Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the journey of the companions. Can we actually give ourselves a name? No, not yet. We have seven companions in our group. The last time that we uh, left the group, Hackard has joined. And uh, so far I haven't made up my mind. At the end of this episode I will make up my mind whether or not uh, we are keeping him. Uh, but for now he has done a decent job and came in uh, with uh, even more damage. Uh, we, however, I noticed we're a little bit, uh, shall I say, crowded at uh, the front line. So we now have five frontline fighters in Dilichi and really a little bit more ranged uh, DPS would be helpful, specifically since um, Hackard and Enders really can't hold their own. They are just dancing around the flanks so for now it works, but it gets crowded, more and more crowded. Anyways, um, we are in this haven and we're hopefully uh, going to progress the storyline a little bit more. So far I'm just looking if there is anything that we could click. There isn't, but there are a lot of people to talk to, so let's start. I know that Fergus and the others are doing their best, but let's face it, we won't survive the winter months if we stay here. That is likely if you don't have food. Dilly G. Starts to open the locks. All right, as always, we are forced into creating more locks. So far, the lock, uh, locks have always uh, have have always paid for themselves. The lock picks, wooden statue, and a little bit of gold. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. to bring me everything I need to sew warmer clothing. Okay, so they definitely need warmer clothing. Uh, not only food, but also temperature is a problem. If you meet all the refugees. Ah, mercenaries. Just in the nick of time. Welcome to the Haven. My name is Fergus. I'm the former Lord Mayor of Courtier, and I now lead the refugees. As you have discovered, the locals haven't exactly welcomed us with open arms. I've therefore decided to move our people to this cold and isolated wasteland. Take our woodcutter camp, for example. We need wood to fortify our new home and okay. survive the winter months. But the local farmers have been harassing us ceaselessly. I fear the worst. Yeah. Hence, the reason for your presence here. This situation could be far too dangerous for the humble farmers we are. I need mercenaries find out what happened to us. Thank you. The woodcutters are just north of here. All right, we'll figure out what happened to them. No promises though. So. We sell all our surplus to help with the cost of rebuilding this ruin. Well, let's start selling you some of our stuff that we don't need. Uh, let's organize. What else do we not need? Not sure what those trinkets are doing. A sellable item. Okay, so this is just pure gold or crowns rather, which is fine. Uh, we need some more medicine, so let's stock up on that. Five medicine should be fine. And a bit more cloth uh, wouldn't be bad either, because we need that for crafting. We got plenty of wood, right? Uh, well, maybe not so much, but we'll get some. And a few more lockpicks, but we don't need those. 
I think we're okay. It doesn't hurt for a while to, to also have a little bit of extra cash because we need to pay our mercenaries. So I want to keep kind of an iron reserve for a few days worth of uh, worth of um, mercenary pay. Good. This here is harsh, very harsh conditions. But we're finding some ore, which is great. I like it. And there is one of our potential targets, the tower. Anyways, what are we going to learn? Uh, running seems fun, uh, specifically if you, if you can get away from danger. So maybe I need to get, uh, need to buy the bullet and get the run skill. Extra missions, fine. Number of missions um, as bounties. Recruitment costs are really not a problem at the moment. Location markers. What else? We could create saddlebags. They are not really worth our time. But I think we might want to learn the last bit of uh, blacksmithing. That seems like a good idea. I would love to understand where we get snow iris from. A small iron capsule filled with a highly explosive powder. All targets in the area lose 10% of their maximum health uh, due to bleeding. Okay. All units in the area are knocked back by 2 meters. That's great as well. Could be good. Better things to do with B filled box. Um, deals 10 to 20 percent damage to all units in the area and creates a bee swarm that is great so something to deal with our pristine fangs but we need honey and lesion powder for that lesion powder i have seen that was purchasable so maybe i'll just purchase a couple a, a bit of um, lesion powder because it would give us the bomblets and these hand bombs uh, some of the things that Hackard could do whilst Anders is being in melee, he could kind of be um, in mid-range. And to be honest, who? Is, yeah, he's even kind of the novice. Uh, I'm already uh, persuading myself into letting him stay. Not sure yet. Let's go with the rest of the weapons. Finally, Snow Iris. And finally, a fight, because this year will earn us a sweet, sweet bounty. Two Hodlums. One Poacher. Oh, wow, that's a di uh, divided landscape. Of course, we're starting at one uh, location. Namri, Hackert, Anders is uh, taking the flank. All right, well, I would say let's move in and get going. Pretty good. Anders cannot kill this guy yet. So let's move up with Pauli. This is another Hardlum. Sweet, sweet mercy. Well, this guy has just taken so much damage. End of turn. Very well. Well, 
now Enders can actually start moving up. Moves up. Oh, there is another Hardlum. Interesting. Let's first of all get three points. Very good. Secondly, this guy needs to die. Don't want to waste the points yet. We're instead moving slightly back and ending our turn. to increase our deftness 100% chance of hitting this guy no and we certainly don't want to do that instead we're going a bit back good we're starting to set him ablaze. And there we go, even more poison. Move up. Hit this guy. And uh, we could we could have moved a bit closer. Anyways. Let's start. We are giving ourselves deflection. We move up. That would almost kill him. But yeah, I would much rather like to get him into melee. There we go. Our front line is as sturdy as ever. Hit, hit, kill. And we're moving just a tiny bit back. Anders moves up. Kills the guy. Moves up further. Moves up even further and then we're sprinting back. Well, that was a mistake, I can tell you. Finishing him. Oh, wow, boy. Second archer would actually not be bad. Unfortunately, the rangers, I think, cannot be archers. The one downside that the archers have is, of course, once they are engaged in melee combat, uh, things are not looking as pretty anymore. Alright, finishes him. Oh, oh boy. Oh, what a nasty hit. Good, got 35. 
Got a nice little dagger. And a little trinket. Okay, cool. Wait, before we go in here, as always, let's um, double check. So we got a poison dagger here. Plus two. That's great. What does that trinket do? Trinket cannot be equipped. Why? There are clearly slots down here, but somehow we can't equip them. And it also seems that more people are slowing down the XP gain because they are not, uh, they seem to be sharing experience. I might be wrong here. I might be wrong. All right, one, two, three, there we go. A vial containing a foul-smelling li liquid, uh, which gives the spray skill, a leather collar uh, favored by uh, solitary animals, damage increased by 5%, not next to an ally, and a report that gives us one knowledge skill, which is great. I like those. So, offer hunters. Increase the number of missions displayed. Increase the number of missions you can accept in bounties. Hmm. More bounties or more uh, emissary missions? So far, the emissary missions have been better. I think we're just going to go with a run skill for now. Bonus movement speed in the world is increased by 5%. Well, I should have gotten that earlier, shouldn't I? Good, there is a bit more lock picking to be had. And food is coming at a premium here, so that was really helpful. Can we just camp here? This looks well fortified. Okay, well, a couple of things. What can we do? Um, I like uh, the extra valor. That makes the battle substantially easier. Uh, I would like Nemri to become a cook again for a while. Very good, that solves our immediate needs. And you can become a blacksmith again. Fantastic. So, we need that, and we need a little bit of meat. And then that, that, and that. Very good. Uh, let's rest. Namri's feet have earned her the nickname Namri the Nimble Elbow. She earns an aptitude point. Days in a row of alcohol consumption times 10. Uh, let's do career plans. How can I increase that? So career plans. You can spend an influence to add 
Um, plus one to an aptitude when you're leveling up. Oh, okay, I see. So instead of the standard options that you're uh, being given, you could uh, skill something else. But those, this one extra point really, I think is quite helpful. And if she could get to 15 willpower, I think we're golden. So far, I really like how she has handled herself. Absolute fantastic, like a more uh, seriously good tank. Chance of a critical uh, strike reduction, 25%. 5% additional um, shield. Must consume meat, thanks to that infection. Has a chance to not suffer injuries in combat. Glorious has a chance to get Valor points. Well, yeah, the group is actually getting much better as the days go by. Good, so we figured that one out, but we haven't figured out what happened to the woodcutters. Jim, let's cut some wood, shall we? Last one was a bit besides the point, but that's good. I like it. What else can we do? Inspect. We could steal wood, which I don't want to do. There is more wood that we can steal. My only job is to fend off the two. Chief is worried about us, and so he should be. The, watch out! The farmers are back. You there, mercenaries? Since the chief sent. Well, great. We're we we jumped right into yet another battle. What do you want now? Don't you have anything better to do than harass refugees? Even if you were Ador himself, you couldn't cut down those trees. What do you mean? What's it to you if we cut those trees instead of any others? The Mount Altis forest is sacred. It has belonged to the tools since the dawn of time. If you upset the little folk, they will attack all the surrounding settlements, including ours and your haven. Don't be absurd. The tools aren't even real. They're just fairy tales. We won't freeze to death over some imaginary... How dare you? For the ice sake. Go and tell your hallucinations to move out. Oh Can boy, can we just talk about it? That? Name your price and give those blasphemers the punishment they deserve. Okay, well, hmm, hmm, hmm. Here we get wood. And here we get beans times 15. Who can, uh, who could reject beans? Uh, I like the game because it is difficult uh, decision and I don't want, uh, we are playing a ranger type of playthrough. So we're actually the outlaws, but we also protect the wilds, which means I don't want the little people or the face uh, to be upset. So we're helping the captain, which means these guys here unfortunately need to die. 
We're also getting beans, so I mean... That is something. Leader's Inspiration. Movement is increased by 60%. Alright, so where are the enemies? Wow, what a strange and divided important character. Okay, he is not allowed to die. Well, foot soldier here. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, okay, we have full control over our friends. Well, <laughs> well, that changes the things a little bit. Uh, in which case... Namri is actually going to fight over on that side. Together with Jim. And Ender Sanders. Dilly G is fighting on that side. Okay, we get we got our stuff uh, figured out. Fantastic. Well, 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 well. Delhi begins to gently move forward before hitting Anthus, slowing him down, and then hitting uh, the other Hodlum. And then being Dilly by moving a little bit back. They are engaging, which is good. As they should. Where is Anders? Um, wait. Wow, we could move all the way to here. Oh yeah, we have the speed buff. Easy. Shorty moves to here. Puts a big fat poison cloud in. Then moves to here. Casually hits him. And burns him. Moving up before. Moving all the way to here. End of turn. Eckhart. Moves up. Takes revenge. Moves to here. Nice hit. Some extra fire damage and we're ending the turn. Eckhart is now also burning. Memory gets engaged, I like that. Gets protection on top of it and done. Deflection rather. Minimum damage, but a little bit of poison. Some extra valor. That's a solid kill. Love it. And we're nicely engaged in combat. New round is starting. Oh, 
All right, Dilly moves up. Oops, that was wrong. Enemy tries to surrender. And we just have a little bit of repair, but a fantastic weapon. Not sure what we're doing with all of those trinkets, because they tend to ha uh, serve no purpose. Jim <clears throat> could get constitution. I actually think that's not, well, that's not bad. He already got constitution the last time, but I mean, yeah, I suppose that's fine. Medium armor, medium armor, medium armor. So deals six damage to all units in the area. Piercing throw. Oh, wow, that looks great. Damage of the next attack is increased by 50%. Fury seems great. Uh, to everyone in a four meter area. So that would be the entire front line. And if we play our cards right, that would be a huge buff. Spear wall. That one is not is not bad either. But I think we're going to use him as a buffer. I like those sweet, sweet buffs that we can stack. Mercenaries, you are as much our heroes as those of the tools. I can only imagine the wrath of these creatures. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Great, we got beans. Uh, not sure what exactly they are doing. Uh, let's see. Coal. Trinkets. Designed to keep swamp mosquitoes away. So, Hackert, I think we wanted to give you kind of an offhand item. Deals 50% uh, of their max health as damage to all mosquitoes in the area. Ooh. Well, that's not bad, but I think uh, it is it might be a bit uh, niche, shall we say? Anders um, could get the ringleader's dagger. More damage. And. And has cloud of poison. This one has cloud of poison as well. And Anders still has a torch. Yeah, I think Hackert could uh, use the torch. If we run into mosquitoes, I can quickly equip that. I can qu quickly equip that. In the meantime, beans are just very nutritious food. Just what we needed. And we got a nice little extra weapon. I still haven't figured out what the trinkets are doing. Cannot be equipped. Cannot be equipped. No one can equip trinkets. Not even the horse. Uh, just double checking one last time. Well, that still would be stealing, which I can't understand. We've literally killed every single one of them. How would that now be stealing? Well, technically it would, right? Because it does not belong to us. Power and glory. Braves. Uh, maximum valor increased by one, which is good. Um, forging left-handed weapon requires uh, minus one part of each type. Having two hands means they should both be used. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Does it also mean we do have dual wielding? Art of the Forge, stats increased, strict rationing, sales of weapon increases by 10 per quality point. Forged armors have one additional uh, layer slot. That is great as well. I mean, this one here is fantastic. Um, this one would help us with money, but that is great for crafting. This is just good for uh, eating and for uh, for keeping our uh, keeping our economy going. This here is straight up above. I like that. Valor is super helpful, so I like that as well. All of them are good. But I think I go for learning the left-handed weapons in the hopes of actually getting a dual wielding going. Dead or alive? Um, oh, okay. So we need to be criminals to a degree. Win five ambushes against humans. Pickpocket. Headhunter. Alright, so... The game actually encourages us to be a little bit more crime-loving. I wanted to uh, do a uh, a good playthrough with kind of limited amount of crime, but apparently in this world uh, it looks a bit different. So I think what we're going to do is we're stealing that. No longer gets caught when discovered stealing. Okay. Well, we're not yet there. Suspicion will go down a little bit, but I'm hoping that this actually... That that actually means... We are getting points in that other bracket here. Dead or alive? Yep, we need uh, to accumulate suspicion over time. Nimble fingers. We need to pick um, other purses. Okay, well, for now, we're good. That's important. Uh, the snow flowers are growing up here. So let's explore the rest. And get more snow flowers because that's exactly what uh, we're needing to get uh, our medicine. Fantastic, that was a great idea. I think we're going back to town uh, next. But not before we're uh, collecting more of those snow flowers. All right. It looks like a lot of a lot of progress has been made. Uh, we're finally ready to uh, to craft our medicine ourselves. Huge win in my book, and we're continuing to explore. Apparently, even the exploration through the forest yields a lot of benefits. Getting that sweet, sweet exploration experience. Good, and it's once again time to make a camp. We're looking at average danger levels, fair enough. So a couple of things, what can we 
build. Chemchest, no, thank you. So one, two, three. A little bit of alcohol. And today it's a bean intense meal. And a little bit of milk. There we go. Cool. The boars are sort of self-delivering meat to us, which is nice of them. Thank you for doing that. Good, we're protecting ourselves and here we go, boar takes some damage and, and we're done. Anders, Anders. Moves to here. That's a hit. That's a kill. That's some extra poison. And we're going away. Fantastic. Next up. Move up. Slash. That's what I'm talking about. Did not require anything to repair ourselves. And we got pelts and a lot of food. Fantastic. We also get more influence, which is good. We can trade that for other stuff later. And I think we are okay. If only my parents could see me now, they would be so proud of the fighter I've become, is what uh, Jim Ulot uh, says. Um, show uh, the skills in front of the group. Get those extra aptitude points, my dude. Point him as a lieutenant? Uh, sure, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Andrew Sanders. He's a captain. Okay, we can now appoint someone as a lieutenant. Well, I think... Hmm. I think Namri has done very well, so she should become the new lieutenant. And Jim here can increase constitution again. All right, you're just going to be the workhorse, I suppose. 21 constitution. He has 42 hit points, which is even more than Namri has. Could make him a medium armor wearing like frontliner. All right, a merchant. What do we have? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Elezerian powder. I know we need that for some of our alchemical stuff. So one, two, three, four, five. Two of the mountain willows. Let's take a few more. And three of those so that we can raise alchemy a bit further. Okay, the group is getting together. I'm still needing to make up my mind whether or not Hackard is going to uh, stay with us.
He definitely wants payment as well. So we're up to 114. I think I would rather take another ranger. Like a, a ranged character is what I mean. How can I get rid of uh, someone from the companions? Well, we're figuring that out in a second. Might you be looking for work? We're collecting our bounties and there are a couple of others that we might be able to accept. Oh wow. Well, hard means we can't do it yet. Don't be fooled by these rugs. Before we... That would be a warrior. Warrior has one ended uh, one handed axes. I am at your service. She's a swordsman. The bandits took everything I That's a brood. I don't know what uh, that is. I have no further information for you. Feel free to come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here, especially since One, all the two, three, the four. Post. We need a bit extra. Apples, wheat, and honey. Reduce the speed at which the troop fatigue uh, by 30%. Wow, that is great. Yeah, we're taking that one. My problem is we're not having another ranger available, as in, I don't know if ranger is the right class name for it, but was Diddy G Hunter. We don't have another hunter available. In the meantime, we wanted medium armor. That one is great. 22 armor and 12 guard. So let's forge it and hope we're doing a good job. Uh, normal quality, I was apparently too slow. So what else can we do? We could Uh, create a spear, very good weapon, polearm weapon. With more rope, we could uh, create a longbow. I think we've just received longbow plus uh, strength, uh, longbow plus six. He does have a, well, that would be an upgrade. A spear definitely would be a fantastic upgrade. And the axe would also be a great uh, a great upgrade okay so he <clears throat> definitely would be a better frontliner now just wondering if we want to go with uh, full set of medium armor
if we want to go with another full set of medium armor or if we're instead getting a weapon upgrade we got the two-handed uh, x we got a pole arm here and the bow could also be an upgrade I think the daggers, for whatever wondrous reason, are always really, really good. And the one hand uh, sword could also use an upgrade. So that's eight ore. Iron spare only needs five ore, which is great. The longbow even requires less ore. So that is eight, which gives us another five. Two-handed sword, one-handed sword. Okay, what else can we do? I mean, we got the Targ as shield. Not everybody can use shields. We could use this here plus, uh, plus a spear. Which isn't the worst. I mean, look, 22 armor is fantastic. I think we're just going to go with one more armor. Superior quality, I like it, and if we could get the spear, two-handed axe, maze, where's the spear? Iron spear. Needs a little bit more leather, and I think leather can be bought, if I'm not mistaken. Come, come, take a look at my wares. Good, that's one leather. All right, let's go with the spear. Superior quality spear and we earned a knowledge point. Could go with a reinforced buckler. Uh, buckler uh, that would allow us more guard and more protection not a bad idea but i think we want more bounties and then also more hunter offers very good so let's do this here, huge weapon upgrade, iron spear, and huge upgrade in his armor as well. Um, by the way, I think, just for full context, the superior one should go to him. 24 armor, 22 armor, okay, good. Because he has more hit points, slightly more hit points, but nevertheless kind of evens out we got the impale skill knocks back one meter damage du doubled if used from distance damage is doubled if used from distance okay that's not bad i like it together with fury we should be fine i like the spear uh, men they fill a really vital role uh, disengagement of others and uh, just buffing of others. We need more damage uh, with his axe. This one here, strength plus two, is not just cutting it. Specifically not if others are rocking attribute plus six or attribute plus seven. So we're getting there and the sword also needs an upgrade. Although she's the last one who should receive an upgrade.
apprentice cook. We're a novice cook. Okay, we're we're getting there. We just need to cook a lot. All right, let's sell these items. Thank you. Blinding powder might be helpful later, but for now, let's just get rid of our weapons, the old ones. Arena spectators can buy this kind of figurine um, for a tournament. That sounds great. I would like one, two, three, four. Let's get that up to 20 again. And I think the rest is okay for now. You have your work cut out for you. Good time to level up some craft. Are we really leveling it up on Hackard? Has he has he made his way into this group? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Rangers deal an absurd amount of damage, but I don't really need a second one. So here's the deal. How can how could you disband something? Can we somehow disband them? Not really, apparently not. Um, can't be. You, how, why would you not be able to disband something? Inspect, move. How can, can you get rid of him? All right, I'll figure that out until the next time. Let me do some crafting and we're going to rejoin right here in the next episode. I think I will uh, part ways with Hacker. Uh, he's a gr good guy overall, but I would love to have one more ranged damage dealer. It's just too much on the battlefield um, as a front line. If anything, I would like to get another like frontline combatant that can hold their own position. The way that I'm seeing it is Namri is a tank. Um, Jim is disengagement and kind of uh, fighting from the second line. Pauly is supposed to be AOE uh, melee damage dealer. And her Sanders uh, is just going in and out. Um, dealing damage and has a couple of AOE skills and really what I noticed is the rangers are doing uh, the hunters are actually doing quite a bit of damage uh, plus apparently from what I'm reading there's you can maybe get some animals to uh, to run with you I don't know so we're going to figure that uh, out but I would hate it uh, if we're uh, if we're uh, stuck with uh, someone who's not really fitting the uh, party that well, I would rather recruit another ranger a little bit later, um, another hunter a little bit later down the road uh, when we can. So if you are unhappy with that decision, let me know uh, down below. Hackard has done a good job and he uh, has not offended us other, with, uh, other than having this terrible haircut. Um, if you like the decision, then let me know as well. Thumbs up and see you in two days. Bye-bye, guys.